greatest field and track spectacle in the U.S. since the 1932 Olympics as Russian and American track aces clash. In the women's 100 meters, it's long-legged Wilma Rudolph Ward who streaks away from the field to prove once more she is the fastest woman in the world. Ralph Boston runs up a record all his own as he beats the Russians for the fourth time with a leap of 26-9. How did Tennessee State get to where it is? When I came here in, in 1965, Tennessee State had an undefeated football team. Football was the main thing here at Tennessee State. What is like that in just about all the colleges? Football was first, basketball was second, and then all the rest of them were fighting for the rest of the crumbs. He didn't go into anything that he didn't look forward to winning. He believed academics are so important for a university, but the fastest way to get your school known it's through athletics. Every girl I recruited, I went to her home and met the parents. I always wanted to see where they come from, meet the father, the mother, and explain to them they're coming to college to get an education. May Fag, Edith McGuire, Ralph Boston, Margaret Matthews, Vernon Holland, Claude Humphrey, Isabel Daniels, Elrich Dickey. Will he be white? Wilma Rudolph. In 1960, her moment arrives. Her stage, Rome, the Olympic Games. My coach at Temple at Tennessee State that I had been with since I was 13 years old was named the United States coach for the women's track and field team. So of course we rejoiced because it's not very often that you have a chance to have your coach with you. That is something that is so very rare and so very special. So here's a school with no scholarships, work aid, put six girls on the United States Olympic team, won four bronze medals with the relay, four girls, and a silver medal. Now, you didn't have the University of Tennessee or UCLA or USC or any of them schools win that, and this was in 56. We don't tell those stories of our contributions. Who will know them? We should not lose any of our history in order to be recorded. Wilma's gonna have to turn it on. The Soviet Union on his front. Here's the last 90 yards. And look at the goal. Another incredible spine signal connect by Wilma Rudolph to the United States. 